Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's second video. We're going to have a look at the ECM Duff Extended model for today's uh, second video, uh, doing the extended European outlook, if you like. So we're going to have a look at mean sea level pressure, 500 millibar height, temperature and precipitation anomalies for the uh, next uh, 30 days in detail. We'll have, also have a look at weeks uh, 5 and 6 data, because why not? The charts are there, so might as well have a look at those uh, as well. And uh, yeah, I should get on with that for you very shortly, just to say that first video is today's last. 6 a.m. upload, and we've got a 10 to 14 day coming up to you later on this afternoon, so please like, share, subscribe on the videos, and thank you so much everybody uh, for doing that for uh, Gaz like this. So we're going to start off with the uh, week one, mean sea level pressure, and not is going to take us from the 7th to 14th of February. Um, so this week you're going to have low pressure uh, to the north, across much of northern Europe, high pressure, ever present, still ridging in from the Atlantic into western and also central parts of Europe, and even towards the eastern southeast part of Europe as well. The jet stream is up here somewhere, that's bringing the most unsettled weather to northern Europe, whilst many other parts of Europe are under high pressure. We're probably pulling in uh, quite cold air from the north still into this eastern part of Europe. A 500 millibar height anomaly uh, shows uh, something very similar from the North Pole view down. So again, week one with below average heights uh, to the north, above average heights in the Atlantic into uh, western parts of Europe. And again, jet stream and uh, wind flow and direction doing something a little bit like that. Right, let's have a look at temperature on saying. So most parts of Europe are milder than average with this west southwest flow of the Atlantic. We have still got it quite cold in the far southeastern corner, particularly from Turkey up towards the Black Sea, also affecting some parts of the extreme eastern part of the Mediterranean and into the Middle East as well. Greenland and Iceland also come out colder than average, but otherwise most areas are above average, warm than average temperatures all the way from Ireland, UK, France, Spain, Portugal, and West, right way over to Western Russia in the East. And some places are significantly above average, especially so in uh, like uh, Western Russia, where we're around 10 degrees uh, above average. Precipitation anomalies look like this. Many areas are drier than normal. It is a bit wetter than average for Norway, just into far northwest of uh, Scotland and possibly Northern Ireland. And in this extreme southeastern corner, it is uh, a little bit wetter than average too. Otherwise, most places are drier than normal, perhaps a bit wetter uh, around Baltic Sea and, you know, those northeastern states like Latvia, Estonia, uh, for example, example Lithuania. Um, but most areas are actually drier than normal. UK down to Spain and then like over towards the Balkans and, and into the southeastern corner. Most places are pretty dry under that area of high pressure. Right, week two will be the 14th to the 21st of February. Looking more unsettled in this week with low pressure deepening across uh, northern Europe, becoming, you know, quite intense with the low pressure and the jet stream push itself as well, bringing that low pressure in across many western and uh, northwestern parts of Europe. The high pressure is going southwards. Um, in towards Mediterranean. So this is more of a classic zonal type uh, weather pattern and could bring quite a bit of rain, you know, to, to northern and northwestern parts of Europe. But at the same time, the area of high pressure will keep many southern, southwestern areas mainly dry. The 500 millibar height anomaly uh, looks like that. So uh, below average heights deepen around Greenland and Iceland, becoming perhaps a little bit stormy even uh, with that and again pushing. Um, the jet stream through uh, across much of northwest Europe. High pressure, the Azores side sinking just a little bit further southwards. Still in, in control across much of Europe, but more particularly focused, I think, across those southern parts of Europe. The temperature anomaly looks like that. It is still significantly milder than average uh, across most parts of Europe, especially so, again, across the northern, eastern and northeastern areas. It's mild average in the west, but not quite as mild as it is further east and northeast, whereas most parts of the Med are looking pretty mild as well. So basically just a sea of mild um, across most parts of, uh, of uh, Europe, a sea of red, I suppose. The precipitation anomaly looks wetter than normal across northern uh, Europe. So this is a more unsettled week. Ireland and the UK going wetter than average. Belgium, Holland, Netherlands, that's the far north of France, a bit wetter than average there. Germany looks quite wet. Denmark, northern Poland, and then up into Scandinavia, you know, Scandinavian Peninsula, looking uh, wetter than normal through there. Conversely, though, the southern and southwest part of Europe is drier than average with the Azores high still ridging in off the Atlantic. That brings loads of dry weather 
to Spain. It could be, it'll be like a spring like week for Spain. Um, and uh, much of Eastern Europe actually looking pretty dry as well. So, so most parts of the Med look dry there and going up towards the Black Sea as well. But Northern and Northwest Europe turning more unsettled, maybe a bit stormier. Week three will be the 21st to 28th of February. The low pressure begins to push back north again. Uh, so that more unsettled week doesn't last all that long. The low pressure begins to head back north as heights begin to rise uh, from the south. So, so that high pressure from Azores is strengthening, pushing back northwards uh, again, essentially. The 500 millibar height normally again shows the Below average heights, low pressure lifting out, pushing back northwards as the above average heights again strengthens from the Azores and starts to move northwards. This will be another mild of an average week in most areas. A little bit cooler in this extreme southeastern corner again, particularly focused around Turkey and in towards the Middle East. Um, still quite cold across the far North Atlantic around Greenland and Iceland, but otherwise most areas are still coming out milder than average. It's another warm week to come above average temperatures and it's not as unsettled um but many western parts of europe anyway although it is still wetter than average like ireland and scotland and most of scandinavia is still coming up wetter than normal but go further south was like we've got germany below countries northern france probably getting a little bit drier by this point and particularly the dry weather is focused further south was again through most parts uh, of the med right way from spain and portugal all the way over towards uh, Greece. Looks a little bit wetter, perhaps, through that eastern part of Europe. Right, week three, going to be the 28th of February to the 7th of March, and high pressure continues to strengthen across most uh, parts of Europe. So, so much of Europe is just dominated by high pressure at this point. The low pressure is being pushed even further north. It's along the jet stream. Jet stream's up there somewhere. So the majority of Europe is under high pressure and bringing up winds from a mild southwesterly direction. The 500 millibar height normally looks like that with the below average heights again around Greenland and Iceland. The above average heights in from the Atlantic into uh, Europe as well. Plenty of high pressure is in control of the weather. The temperature normally continues to look very mild across much of Europe with above average temperatures from the west all the way over to the east. Again, the exception is this southeastern, extreme southeastern part of Europe and the Mediterranean where it does look colder and especially pushing in towards the Middle East. The um, precipitation anomaly, no particular change here, a bit wetter than average in extreme north of Europe, otherwise most areas with the high pressure dominating are wetter than average. So further out we go in the week of a signal is getting, but for week four, that is actually a really strong signal for many parts of Europe, away from the far north to be um, drier than average. Right, so that's the 30 day look ahead done and dusted. Let's just have a quick look at weeks five and six uh, data before we go. So, this is uh, week five mean cell pressure on from the 7th to 14th of March. Uh, no changes really. High pressure continues to be dominating uh, the weather, bringing mostly dry, fine conditions. The 500 millibar high tsunami again, showing all of the low pressures around Greenland and Iceland, all of the high pressure from the Atlantic into. Uh, Europe, the temperature anomaly continues to look really mild away from the southeastern part of the uh, of Europe and, and Mediterranean. And the precipitation anomaly is largely drier than normal in most areas as well. And then finally, week six will be the 14th to 21st of March. Any changes? No, not really. High pressure <laughs> continues to be ruling the roost. High pressure fest goes on. Uh, low pressure is up there along with the jet stream as well. B500 millibar high to normally again. Shows no changes whatsoever. High pressure still rooted across most parts of Europe, particularly Western Europe. Um, temperature anomalies continue to look milder than average. No changes there. And precipitation uh, looks like that. Still largely dry than average for more southern parts of Europe and Western Europe. A bit wetter than average perhaps further northwards. On and on it goes. Uh, right, okay, so all we can do is laugh at it now, I think, uh, the monotony of this um, pattern that's been going on since uh, since um, August is absolutely extraordinary. And uh, all we can do, you know, is kind of just, just laugh at it, I think, at this point, because it has got silly. But um, we'll see at some point. You think we've got to do something else, but... 
I don't know, maybe we'll still have this pattern in 2372. I don't know. Um, but anyway, we're going to be back later on in your Tank of Autumn Day. That will include all the regular features as well. So come back for that. But for uh, this video, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.